Next up, we're moving to Marlborough Crown Hires, under two litres, Little Giants, and the Sports and GT category all combined. And we spoke about legendary cars. There's a whole bunch of them about to go to battle here at SWAT Cops. Before they get onto the black stuff, let's catch up with some of the top contenders and see what their plans are. Paige Lindenberg behind the wheel of that big monster V8. That thing's got to be pretty scary to drive. Yeah, it's not easy, I must be honest. Um, in practice yesterday, we were on very old tyres, so that big thing comes around the corner sideways very easily. Um, so, yeah, it's good fun, I love it, but definitely on the edge a lot. So you just got to keep it on four wheels, basically, and that's it. Yeah, exactly. The braking's always a bit tricky. Um, it's a heavy car to stop, so that always, halfway through the race, starts giving me a few warnings. But other than that, it's, yeah, it's an amazing car. I really enjoy it. Snapping at your heels will be some of the smaller cars. Nicholas Christofidis in the Alpha. Nick, um, putting that Alpha around here, is there any trick to it? You've got to be smooth or what? Uh, you just got to lick the stamp and send it, honestly. You just got to go keep the gas on, try and go through the corners with the highest speed, because it doesn't have much power. Um, unlike the V8s that barrel past us every now and again. Um, but you've got to just keep the average speed up and that's how you do it. Michelle Valoy, um, you've done so many laps around this track, you've actually worn a groove in the tarmac, haven't you? <laughs> I think I've, I've done so anyway. But yeah, um, I think it's a good comment. Yeah, I've been around here for many times anyway. Uh, don't ask me if I know, you know the track very well. Uh, you know, there are people who can master it better than I do anyway. But uh, yeah, um, I'll, be, I'll be going out now with my daughter, uh, the car, one of the cars that I love, you know, very light. Uh, in acceleration peak, uh, you've got to be careful when you're taking turns anyway because it's lighter. Uh, but otherwise, it's a lovely car to drive and then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well and then I think I'll do well, you know, uh, uh, on the outing. Heading down into turn one, highlights now from race number one. You can see this big pack, all combined with uh, sports and GTs at the front end. The Trans Am category mixing it up with them too. Look at Ben Morganroot. He's celebrating sport and friends today with Willie Hepburn. He's uh, just ahead there of the Detroit Trans Africa Racing Daytona Coupe. And then that's uh, Alan Poulter applying massive pressure onto the back end of Paige Lindenberg. Nice little fight out there for Class ZB, but it's an under two litre and a ZB fighting hard. And that's exactly what you're going to see at the front end here. It's great to see uh, the mix up of cars. A little Chev there, already getting into the mix and uh, putting the pressure on right at the, the word go. And all the way from Cape Town, Mark Aiton Bogard coming through there. 201 is Lieutenant Colonel Alan Mayer, normally in the form of a Ford. This time out in uh, the Trans Africa Racing Stable Machine. And coming to the line, Frank and Mateo to take the victory over James Temple. As they cross the line, Detroit just tucking in the, between the two of them, though. Detroit will finish second in the sports and GT class, eh? Lindenberg takes ZBs, Alan Poulter takes the CTCs. Under two litres went to Francesco Lombardi, and Andre de Kock took Little Giants class B. Let's catch up now with James Temple. That was good. Um, look, it's always nice to win on the road. Unfortunately, in this class, we've got to work to break our time, so we played the, we played the long game. Um, had a good start, put two, put two decent laps in and broke away and uh, then forced them to go under breakout. So uh, we went away with the, the, the class win, which is what we want, and that's the points. Car went amazingly. Um, it is quite warm today for, for this time of the year, but um, hopefully in the second heat it'll be a bit cooler. Um, yeah, faultless, it was great. Eh? Certainly will be a lot cooler into the late afternoon as we get in the way here and down in towards turn one for race two here. Under two liters, Little Giants and Trans Am mixing it up with the sports and GT class. <laughs> Amazing field of cars and such an epic battle in the first one. More of the same expected now as we see Polter getting a bit out of shape there. Just ahead of Mark Miller. Alan Polter getting that uh, Volvo of his stepped out out of turn two. Just managing to keep it on the black stuff. Aiton Bogard comes through there ahead of Lieutenant Colonel Alan Mayer. He has got some big pressure coming from behind the Ford Protea there. That's uh, John Tendershot. The car is just, uh, he would normally be piloting. Polter again at it with Paige Lindenberg up into turn five. Brilliant stuff. Lindenberg not going to give that one up without a fight. Big Ford Fairlane sideways and uh, the Volvo on the inside. Across the line, you can see they're all starting to mix it up here. It's fantastic to see such an array of vehicles going into 10 different categories as the flag comes out. And once again, Frank and Amateur taking the overall victory, beating out this time Ben Morganroot. Toy wins out sports and GT's Class A. Lindenberg takes ZBs again. Head of Polter, Lombardi, Miller, Dindashate, and De Kock, all winning their respective classes. Let's catch up now with overall winner Frank and Amateur. <laughs> well, somebody had to do that. Um, look, we were we, yesterday, I mean, Rudolf uh, brought me his car about three days ago and uh, we couldn't get the car to go. Well, he couldn't get the car to go, so I said, well, give it to me, let's have a look at it. And I did some work on it. And yesterday we were, we were off the pace, you know. 
he, he tried a few things and it wouldn't go. So I eventually arrived here and we did a few changes to the car, helped with the mechanics and that. And uh, yeah, we turned this car around and uh, Rudolf De Vos won his two hits, I won my two hits, he won overall, I won overall. And I just want to say thank you to Rudolf, I mean, uh, for him to trust me with his car, you know. Um, yeah, it was a good day for us at the end of the day. Thank you. All this regional extreme festival action is proudly brought to you by Car Care Clinic, Pay Bar and Marlboro Crane Hire.